I'm Allendale's Chief Meteorologist Ryan Martin with a look at your midday weather update. It's one of these slow periods in weather that we're embarking on here this week. We kind of mentioned that this morning in our online write-up. And you know what? Not much has changed since then as we take a look at things at midday. This week is going to be a week that's more dominated by weather that's not happening anywhere agriculturally. For example, the big snowstorm that's hammering the northeast again three straight weekends in a row. And actually, it's going to be a week that's dominated more by temperature when you get right down to it, mostly due to the fact that our temperatures can't really seem to pick a side. Definitely colder than normal as we go through the day today so far, but we're going to be warming up a little bit as we head toward midweek, then falling back down again late in the week over the Corn Belt. However, in the plains, nothing doing. Plains, eastern parts of Colorado, all the way through the Rockies, looking at temperatures for the most part above normal. We might squeeze out one or two days that are at normal over the next uh, 10 days or so, but we just don't see any massive cold air pushes in the short haul part of the forecast. To me, I think what the temperature story is going to come down to is what happens for the second half of the month. So let's get through this weekend. Let's get through President's Day next Monday. What happens from there on? And the latest runs of the GFS model are showing that we should see a flattening of the ridge over the western part of the country around the 18th, 19th. I'm seeing a massive storm complex coming into the Pacific Northwest, almost like a cutoff low that will really flatten the ridge. That should, and I want to emphasize should, really start to make the weather over the rest of the country interesting. For example, around the 20th now, I'm seeing the GFS put in a monster Great Lakes rain slash snow event. Huge amounts of water there. And then we're going to be seeing that transition into a big story for the mid-Atlantic and northeast. Then we continue to see the flattening of the ridge go all the way down into the Four Corners area around the 23rd, 24th. And if it were to hold like this, we could be looking at one of these classic winter storms coming out of the Central Plains and up across the corner belt as we go through the 23rd 24th but again it's all tied to the ridge in the west that ridge goes absolutely nowhere between now and the end of this coming weekend warm air continues just to flow right on up from mexico through the rockies and up into southern british columbia it's what happens toward the middle and end of next week that i really think will kick this pattern in the pants and give us our wild ride through the rest of the month of february for what it's worth we continue to think i continue to think that we are going to be seeing very active weather on through the end of the month i think it's going to trend more towards snow than rain I think the GFS model is probably a little too warm right now. But still, I think we're going to be seeing several large-scale lows try and move through between now and the end of the month. Let's switch gears and talk about international weather a little bit. Here, the trouble spots don't really seem to be corn or bean related. For example, South America, Argentina, Brazil looking at good rains. We had great rains in Argentina over the weekend. Front kind of stalls out in Brazil and into Paraguay here over the next few days. But the long and short of it is there's plentiful moisture everywhere except the northern half of Goyas. And that's just not an area where we see the biggest amount of beans grown or even many beans at all. But we're going to be seeing decent moisture to finish out some beans. And it shouldn't be too bad in terms of harvest either except maybe down into Paraná. Uh, and across into parts of Mato Grosso de Sol. There we could see some of these heavier rains park just a little bit longer. To me, the international weather stories now are shifting focus more toward uh, former Soviet Union areas, Russia. Uh, we're seeing a more, more and more dry pattern emerging here. Uh, s- extreme southern parts of the southern region in Russia picking up some moisture, but other places not. Ukraine, Kazakhstan, the central region in Russia, the Volga region, just not seeing a lot of moisture here. If there's any saving grace, we kind of mentioned this online this morning, we're not seeing a bitter cold Arctic air mass dive in quite as quickly. We might be able to stave that off for a while, but uh, we've got to start raising a little bit of concern over lack of moisture over in that part of the world. It's the same kind of concern that I think is slowly starting to mount here across the U.S. in hard red winter wheat areas. Temperatures above normal means we're looking at better evaporation. We haven't seen any good moisture in a while. So wheat markets, wheat to stories might be something to watch here going forward as the weather just does not look to be all that great for some of these wheat areas, winter wheat areas here and abroad. That's what we've got in your forecast at midday. If you've got any questions about the weather, give us a call at Allendale. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ryan Martin.